Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So Windows 11 is officially released and like previous version it comes in several different editions. But today we're going to focus on two main editions, Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. So Windows 11 Home is designed for typical home users that offer the basic features. While Windows 11 Pro you get stuff like advanced features, BitLock encryption, domain join capabilities, group policy, networking, and security, and a whole different range to manage multiple computers and so forth. But the problem is if you're a business user or you work in a professional networking environment, you need Windows 11 Pro because it unlocks all those additional features. If you're just a regular user, then you're probably just going to be happy with 11 Windows 11 Home. So today we're going to go over how can we upgrade from Windows 11 Home to Windows 11 Pro without even reformatting or doing any crazy stuff to your system and keeping all of your files. So there's a bug in Microsoft um, updates where the regular updates will tell you to go ahead and click start and then you can click on activation. So you can go to activation settings and you'll see if your system came with Windows Home as you're seeing on my screen right here. And if you click on the activation state, it will say active. If you click on the drop down, it says Windows is active with a digital license. Now, Microsoft wants you to follow this step where you upgrade your edition. So if you click on the drop down here, you can change your product key. What happens here, though, this is where the bug comes into play. When you click changing your product key and you type it in, if it's a license that you purchase from a retailer or somewhere else that you purchase Windows 11 Pro, you're going to receive an arrow stating that you can't upgrade it or maybe the key. So it's not really the key that's the problem. It's just a slight um, bug and hopefully they'll fix this, right? You can also use the open store version where you can use the app and you can pay $99 if you don't have a key. So if you don't have a key, this is a, you can use this version. Just go ahead and click, get it for $99 and then you can upgrade. Also, you can upgrade to the workstation. If you wanted to do a workstation, it's also another way, another version. You can get it for 205, right? So if you don't have a key and you want to upgrade, this is a way to do it. Now, if you did purchase a key like I did, and I'm working on this to upgrade to Pro, once you go here, you're supposed to click Change Product Key. But at this time, when you type in the key here, it gives you an error. So the way to fix this is simple. Um, we need to go ahead and do a few things. At this point, I want you to go ahead and remove all connections from the internet. And this is the part that is critical. So if you do have a network adapter, just hit start and type in network connections. And we're going to go to view network connections. So as you can see, if there's an X on it, unlike mine, it's not connected. However, I do have this one connected. So I'm going to just go ahead and disable all my connections just to be on the safe side. So disable all your connections real quick so you have no connection to the internet whatsoever. And basically this is just going to stop you from the product trying to activate itself. Now, once you are here, go back to change the product key and we're going to go ahead and click on change. At this time, we're going to go ahead and do a generic product key. This is not an illegal key or anything, so don't trip. Um, you can also find this on the Microsoft website. If you go to answers.microsoft.com, you will see that this was a question that was answered as well. And the pro the, this generic product key is out there, so don't be um, alarmed. So I want to type in VK7JG. Um, so this is a key that we are using, HTM, and then it's c 9 JM and then 9 M P G T 3 V 6 6 6 T. So this is also a generic product key that allows you to basically use the system to switch from home to the pro edition, right? And then once this happens, you're going to now have to use the key that you purchased to legally activate Windows. So that's the process. So now we're just going to go ahead and click next right here. And as you can see, it's going to take the key. It's going to show you that it's going to do the upgrade. So you just want to go ahead and click start. It's going to tell you not to turn off the PC. It's going to go through and process the upgrade for you, right? And then we're going to go ahead and do the restart. So go ahead and pause this real quick. 
and we'll be right back. Okay, so mine is now in the 85% range, so I wanted to jump back on to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so once you get to this stage, um, your system is going to go through the process and prep your computer. Now it's going to do the restart, go through the process and do the updates, and then you're going to log back in. And now we're about 96% complete with adding the features. Yours might take a little bit longer or shorter, just depending on your internet connection. Well, your PC, because we don't have internet right now. Just depending on your box and what all the features you need. All right, so here we are, we're back. And we're just gonna go ahead and check now. So we're just gonna type activate and go to activation settings. And you can see that Windows 11, it was home, and as you can see now up here, it's now Windows 11 Pro. Fantastic. You're going to see it says Windows can't activate, which is fine because now this is a point where you need to go ahead and change your product key. If you look at the bottom, you'll see the key that we use to expand for the additional features. So that's going to be the key that's actually there. So now the product key that you purchased that you should have, the legal key, this is where you'll go to change, and then we're going to go ahead and put in that key itself. So I'm going to go ahead and type in my key, and then actually before we start that, let's go back and fix your network connection. So this time you want to go back and turn them on, turn back all your connections on that you disabled earlier. So just enable them because now you're going to need the internet to actually process the le legal key that you have. So here, delete. we're going to fix this now by changing the key. So I came to change key, and we're going to fix this code right here. So I'm going to go ahead and change. And then let's type in my key real quick. All right, so now you can see I just put my key in. And then now it's saying I can activate Windows. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on activate right here. And then from here, voila, there you go. Windows is not activated. And then you can close. So then if you go back and you look at it, now you'll see that Windows is activated with a general key. And then you have Windows Pro. I hope this video was a little bit helpful for you guys that are trying to do the upgrade from home to pro. And then without further ado, if you did like this video, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up or let me know what issues you have and then we can try to work it out with you and get you guys situated. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.